Hello guys, welcome to all. Today we will discuss about Pell's equation, one of the famous equation of number theory. The equation of the form x square minus ny square equal to 1 is called Pell's equation where capital N is a non-square, uh, non-perfect square integer. Okay, that is maybe N, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, okay, 10, like that. But N cannot be 4, 9, okay, 16, like that. That means N never be a perfect square, but N may be a non-perfect square integer. Okay, example, the uh, Pell's equations are x square minus 2y square equal to 1, x square minus 3y square equal to 1, okay, x square minus 10y square equal to 1, like that. How to solve Pell's equation? Okay, we see the solution of Pell's equation. If we consider uh, first example, x square minus 2y square equal to 1, then by hit and trial, we can find the fundamental solution of this equation. Okay, so fundamental uh, solutions are r plus minus 1, 0, plus minus 3, plus minus 2. These are the fundamental solution if uh, because if we put uh, the value replacing x like it is 1 square minus 2 into 0 square then it is 1 so satisfy this pair also uh, if we put uh, 3 at place of x then 3 square minus 2 into 2 square okay either taking plus or minus so we get it is 9 minus 8 so again 1 so satisfy uh, so there be uh, some fundamental solutions of the given Pell's equation but what are the next solution what are the next solution because uh, such type of equation have infinite number of solutions okay if we have infinite number of solution then what is the uh, what is the idea by which we can get more solution another than this fundamental solution okay before it we uh, look the concept of gaussian integer and their norm okay what is the gaussian integer look here gaussian integer Gaussian integer is defined as z root d is equal to x plus y root d where x and y are from integers. Okay. Now, if we find norm of this integer, then norm of Gaussian integer z d is defined as z root d uh, n means norm so norm of this uh, gaussian integer is defined as x plus y root d into its conjugate x minus y root d when multiply we get x square minus d y square okay if norm of gaussian integer is taken as one then we get x square minus dy square is equal to 1 and this is what this is nothing but the Pell's equation this one is Pell's equation so we can say Pell's equation have solution same as when we have a solution for norm of Gaussian integer equal to 1 so we can say solution of Pell's equation solution of solution of Pell's equation x square minus dy square equal to 1 is obtained by finding 
pair of integers x y such that uh, the norm of gaussian integer z root d is equal to 1 where z root d is defined by such a way okay it mean if we have to solution for the pels equation we just find the pair of integers such that the norm of that gaussian integer is equal to 1 okay now look the property of norm of gaussian integer one of the main property of uh, gaussian integer the uh, norm of gaussian integer z root d is multiplicative okay multiplicative means if u and v are two gaussian integers then we can see norm of u into v is equal to norm of u into norm of v okay and you can verify easily uh, this property by taking a example consider the example if u is equal to x1 plus root dy1 then definitely norm of u is like this and v is another gaussian integer then norm of v is this now when we uh, taking the product u and v then their norm is just written as uh, putting the value u and v and multiplying then their norm is defined as uh, by this and we can easily see uh, this is exactly equal to this one that means norm of u and norm of v so uh, we can easily see norm of u into v is equal to norm of u into norm of v that means norm is multiplicative if norm is multiplicative then uh, this gives a good idea for finding the solution of pell's equation now come on the pell's equation okay. uh, our pell's equation of the form uh, pell's equation is of the form x square minus dy square is equal to 1 it mean our focus on that norm which have uh, which have value equal to 1 okay so it is uh, equivalent to equivalent to or you can say equal to norm of gaussian integer d is equal to 1 okay uh, norm of particularly x plus root dy is equal to 1 okay now if norm of if we have a uh, fundamental solution if we have fundamental solution fundamental solution x1 y1 then definitely norm of x1 plus root d y1 is equal to 1 because um, it satisfy the Pell's equation and we get x square d y1 square equal to 1 okay and this is nothing but the norm of the uh, this gaussian integer okay so if we have fundamental solution x1 y1 then we can find all the general solution uh, relates with this fundamental solution uh, see uh, let x1 plus root dy1 is equal to u okay then definitely n u is equal to 1 1 okay now uh, we uh, are taking norm of n u a square then we can write it is n u into n u and since uh, n u is equal to 1 so this is again 1 okay in this way we can see uh, n u cube is also n u a square and n u okay uh, since it is multiplicative and n u a square is 1 so it is again 1 like that we can say n u power k is equal to n u k minus 1 into u so we can write in multiplication u k minus 1 into n u and since uh, n u is 1 and we see uh, before this norm n u square is 1 so uh, we can see in this way n u to the power k minus 1 is 1 so both are 1 so again it is 1 uh, it means if you have a funda if we have a fundamental pair x1 y1 
such that uh, u has a norm 1 then composing u by its itself uh, gives u a square like that u cube u4 uk all these uh, all these gaussian integer uh, gives the integer pair for the solution of pell's equation okay so we can say uh, we can say easily that uh, what is the general solution of pell's okay let us see so we can write the general solution of pell's equation uh, of this form is given by integer pair x1 y1 uh, if this x1 y1 is fundamental solution we can find it is either by hit and trial or by the continued fraction then the general solution is given by set of order of integers x k y k okay such that the norm of u k is equal to 1 where u is defined by set of fundamental solution x1 and y1 clear if we put k uh, 1 then u to the power 1 that means it is a fundamental solution uh, if we square this u then after squaring we get uh, the order pair x1 plus y1 root d whole square uh, gives say x2 plus y2 root d then this x2 y2 is the another solution of this Pell's equation again if we cubic both side and finding u to the power cube then again x1 plus y1 root d whole cube uh, if it uh, turns into x3 y3 root d then x3 y3 is the another solution okay and in this way we can uh, find infinite number of uh, solution of this pell's equation okay so this is the one of the best idea of finding general solution of pell's equation consider the example uh, look the example uh, x square minus 2y square equal to 1 okay uh, its fundamental solution is fundamental solution is 1 0 plus minus 1 0 plus minus 3 plus minus 2 okay but we um, choose uh, the non uh, zero integer pair uh, uh, and positive integer pair so uh, let 3 2 is is one of the solution uh, choose 3 2 as one of the solution choose choose 3 2 as one of the solution and then by using th by using this 3 2 we can find infinite number of solution of this uh, like uh, that uh, using minus 3 minus 2 and then using uh, uh, 3 minus 2 and each of the order pair we can find the infinite number of solution okay now uh, how we can find the infinite number of solution using 3 2 look here uh, so uh, let u is equal to 3 plus root 2 d okay uh, using this 3 2 uh, we make a uh, gaussian integer u is equal to 3 plus root 2 d okay then uh, the another solution is given by then then another solutions solutions are equal to a set of order pair uh, x k y k okay such that u is equal to 3 plus root 2d uh, u to the power k is equal to 3 plus root 2d power whole k is equal to x k plus root 2 y k okay uh, if uh, because uh, we see that if uh, the norm of this u is 1 and uh, uh, you can verify it norm of this u is equal to what 9 is uh, 9 the 3 square minus uh, what is this d 
दिस इज एक्चुअली टू दिस इज एक्चुअली टू हियर सॉरी मेक इट करेक्ट हियर सिंस थ्री टू इज वन ऑफ द फंडामेंटल सोल्यूशन सो वी टेक द गाउसियन इंटीजियर यू इज इक्वल टू थ्री प्लस टू रूट टू ओके बिकॉज इफ यू सी द क्वेश्चन द इक्वेशन इज वी कैन राइट द इक्वेशन एज एक्स माइनस रूट टू इंटू वाई इंटू एक्स प्लस रूट टू इंटू वाई इक्वल टू वन बींग फैक्टराइजेशन ऑफ लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ओके तो सिंस इट इज ऑफ फॉर्म एक्स माइनस रूट टू वाई एंड एक्स प्लस रूट टू वाई सो वी टेक द गाउसिन इंटीजियर वन ऑफ द फॉर्म लुक लाइक दिस इफ थ्री टू हिट्स वन ऑफ द सोल्यूशन देन रिप्लेसिंग एक्स बाय थ्री एंड रिप्लेसिंग वाई बाय टू वी गेट थ्री प्लस टू रूट टू इज द फंडामेंटल सोल्यूशन ओके एंड इट इज द फंडामेंटल यू नाउ द अनदर सोल्यूशन इज गिवेन बाय इंटीजियर पेयर एक्स के वाई के वेयर यू टू द पावर के इज इक्वल टू दिस वन सिंस थ्री एंड टू सेटिस्फाई द एव इक्वेशन एज वी सी थ्री माइनस एंड इफ यू फाइंड द नॉर्म दे नॉर्म इज वाट नॉर्म इज सिंपली थ्री स्क्वायर माइनस टू रूट टू हॉल स्क्वायर ओके सो इट इज नाइन माइनस एट सो इट इज वन सिंस नॉर्म ऑफ यू इज वन देन कंसिक्वेंटली नॉर्म ऑफ यू का स्क्वायर नॉर्म ऑफ यू का पावर थ्री नॉर्म ऑफ यू का पावर फोर एंड नॉर्म ऑफ यू का पावर के इज ऑल्सो वन सो इफ वी कंपोज यू बाई इट सेल्फ एंड फाइंडिंग यू स्क्वायर वी गेट द अनदर सोल्यूशन नेक्स्ट बाई यू क्यूब नेक्स्ट बाई यू फोर एंड लाइक दैट ओके नाउ स्क्वायरिंग दिस यू वी गेट यू स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू थ्री प्लस टू रूट टू हॉल स्क्वायर इफ वी स्क्वायर वी गेट दिस इज नाइन एंड दिस इज एट सो इट इज सेवेंटीन प्लस थ्री टू जो सिक्स एंड टू जो ट्वेल्व रूट टू ओके सो द नेक्स्ट सोल्यूशन इज गिवेन बाई सेवेंटीन एंड ट्वेंटी देर फोर नेक्स्ट सोल्यूशन इज सेवेंटीन ट्वेल्व एंड वी कैन इजली वेरीफाई दैट दिस सेवेंटीन एंड ट्वेल्व एल्सो सेटिस्फाई दिस इक्वेशन ओके एज सेवेंटीन का स्क्वायर माइनस टू इंटू ट्वेल्व का स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू वाट सेवेंटीन स्क्वायर मीन्स इट इज वन एट नाइन ओके एंड दिस वन इज वन फोर फोर इंटू टू वन एट एट सो अगेन इट इज वन सो इट सेटिस्फाई सो इट इज द अनदर सोल्यूशन ओके इन दिस वे वी कैन फाइंड द अनदर सोल्यूशन अगेन बाय टेकिंग यू टू द पावर क्यूब मीन्स थ्री प्लस टू रूट टू हॉल क्यूब इफ वी क्यूब थ्री प्लस टू रूट टू ओके देन बाई क्यूबिंग वी गेट इट इज एज नाइंटी नाइन प्लस सेवेंटी रूट टू ओके सो द नेक्स्ट सोल्यूशन इज नेक्स्ट सोल्यूशन इज नाइंटी नाइन कॉमा सेवेंटी एंड इफ वी पुट एक्स बाई नाइंटी नाइन एंड वाई बाई सेवेंटी देन अगेन इट सेटिस्फाई द अगेन इट सेटिस्फाई द गिवेन इक्वेशन ओके इन दिस वे वी कैन फाइंड यू टू द पावर फोर देन यू टू द पावर फोर इज थ्री प्लस टू रूट टू हॉल पावर फोर एंड इट विल गिव फिफ्टी सेवन फाइव सेवन सेवन प्लस फोर जीरो एट रूट टू सो वी कैन से द नेक्स्ट सोल्यूशन इज फाइव फिफ्टी फाइव सेवेंटी सेवन एंड फोर हंड्रेड एट देर फॉर नेक्स्ट सोल्यूशन इज गिवेन बाई पेयर ऑफ इन टीजर फाइव सेवन सेवन एंड फोर हंड्रेड एट दैट इज एक्स इज एक्स इज फाइव सेवन सेवन एंड वाई इज फोर हंड्रेड एट कंटिन्यूइंग दिस वे वी कैन फाइंड द इनफाइनाइट नंबर ऑफ सोल्यूशन ऑफ द पेल्स इक्वेशन ओके एंड सिंस इफ सेवेंटीन एंड ट्वेल्व इज अ सोल्यूशन इज ए सोल्यूशन ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस टू वाई स्क्वायर इक्वल टू वन देन सिंस एक्स एंड वाई 
uh, is in a square form so we can write plus minus 17 plus minus 12 okay is also a solution is also a solution this means this solution give four pair of another solution uh, including 17 to will four pair of solution okay uh, hence we can write uh, hence the solutions are solutions are 0 plus minus 1 uh, plus minus 1 and 0 is uh, one of the fundamental solution but it is since uh, including 0 so uh, we cannot proceed by this uh, solution the another fundamental solution is 3 2 okay 3 2 so we write it is plus minus 3 and plus minus 2 uh, we write plus minus 3 plus minus 2 then plus minus 17 plus minus 12 then plus minus 99 plus minus 70 then plus minus 577 plus minus 408 okay and in this way we can get uh, we can get infinite number of solution of the given equation uh, i hope uh, you like this video and it is fruitful for you if you like please like and if you are newer in my channel then please subscribe thank you for watching